Hello. Um, garlic. I just finished um, harvesting all of my garlic and I thought I would share what I did, what I'm going to do, um, just kind of give you an idea of what um, garlic growing looked like for me. So I've grown garlic in the past, never to the extent that I did. Um, I did a hundred cloves of garlic last year um, behind me. So just to, I guess, the left of me um, or right, just next to the sunflowers, I planted a majority of my garlic and then in this bed here I did some more garlic. Um, and I did them about six inches apart. So I spaced them um, between my pinky and my thumb. Um, all of my garden beds were filled with um, composted horse manure that we get from a local ranch. And I planted them around October 15th-ish. Um, and then I made sure that they were covered in a heavy, heavy layer. I think I did one bale of straw to both the beds. Um, and that was to insulate them through the winter. And um, almost all of my cloves came up. I would say probably around 80 cloves came up. Um, I didn't count and I didn't even think to count. Um, but I just kind of wanted to be as um, hands off as I possibly could with this amount and just kind of see where it went. Um, I don't remember when in the spring I took the straw off. Um, there was still frost in the ground, but I pulled it off because you could tell that the warm days were creating a lot of moisture and then the frost was again coming overnight. So um, this is a south facing slope. So I'll, I'll maybe check my notes and see. But anyways, the garlic I used, I bought garlic from um, a local um, gardener here and his garlic looks like this. It's just kind of your basic generic garlic. It's okay. It's not anything um, to write home about. Um, but for me to buy cloves last year, it was really tough with shipping. Um, and it was just really expensive. So I wanted to make sure that I had, that I could grow decent garlic before I started spending the money. Um, so I bet you all in all, I probably spent 20 bucks on all of the cloves I needed to do these two beds. Um, but then I was left with this size of garlic cloves. Um, there's one, two, three, four. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're 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 not exceptional size. I would they're they're pretty decent. This is one of my bigger ones. Um, most of my smaller ones have three heads on them. Um, so these are the kind of the standard in sizes. So you can see small, medium, and large. Um, I I left these all on the ground probably too late. As you can see, that there is no outside wrapper protecting them. Um, but uh, They'll be fine. Um, normally you want to leave them, you want to take them out of the ground while you still have a green top so that you still have that papery skin protecting them. Um, but I just got distracted and, and a little bit tied up with other things. Um, on some of my bigger cloves, what I did notice, which I didn't, I didn't really think of when I was growing the garlic, was on the bigger cloves, I had cut the scapes off early. Um, but I only cut scapes off as I needed them, which was a mistake. Um, as soon as scapes appear, right when they're tight and curly, you want to cut them off because if you leave them on, they actually take energy from your clove and send to the flower. Um, so the sooner you cut those scapes off, scapes off, the better it is for your garlic clove. Um, the other thing I did was I let some of my garlic go to seed. The, the bulbule is already, bulb, bulb bill is already taken off, but you can tell the difference. Um, between a garlic that is let gone to seed versus a garlic with its scape taken off. So this garlic, you know, is edible, but it won't be exceptional because all of the energy went to, well, technically it's, it's asexual flower. I think that's what it's called. So these seeds are exact, are the exact clone of a, 
of the parent plant. So from what I understand is these seeds are, they're not seeds, but they are the true seed of the parent plant and they will give you the best seed garlic. But most people just buy seed garlic that have been, I believe it's called vegetate, vegetatively cloned. Um, but I wanted to experiment and see if I could possibly grow my own seed garlic. Um, and and then therefore I grow better garlic. Um, so when you go to a store or a greenhouse and you get your seed garlic, that is usually just where they've taken garlic like this and they've broken off the cloves. Um, some more reputable um, producers of garlic seed will work with bubbles. I think that's what they're called, I could be wrong. Um, but it, this is a three-year process. So I'll show you. I don't know if I have any more florets. So this is what you would typically see at the top of your garlic. Um, only hard neck garlic goes to seed like this. Um, so it will grow this seed out of it and it'll flower and you'll get these tiny, tiny, little seeds. They're almost like little pearls. Um, and then from these, you plant these in the ground. And then next year, you should get something of this size. Then you take this size, plant that in the ground, and then the following year, you might get something this size. And by the third year, you should be getting a large clove of garlic like this, if not bigger. Um, but a lot of people don't want to wait three years for garlic. Um, I will still be planting, um, I will be ordering and planting cloves of store-bought garlic or greenhouse-bought garlic, um, or I should say maybe farm-raised garlic. Um, we order, I've ordered from the past and I will order again this year from John Boy Farms here in Manitoba. Um, but I'm also going to experiment with these bubbles. So in this bag, I don't even know how many. I will maybe count it. We'll see if I feel like it. But one of these is a future garlic, a whole head. Um, so when you think about that, one of these often sells for about five bucks a piece for seed garlic. So I think it's like, you know, you can pay about five bucks for three to five cloves. But I let a few of my garlics go to seed and now I have hundreds. So I can plant these and repeat the process for the next two, three years and have lots and lots and lots of garlic. Um, and you get some of the truest, most finest um, garlic because these are the exact um, replica of the parent. Because they are an exact reproduction of the parent, they have learned to grow in our climate, they have learned to grow in our soil, they tend to, they have evolved to be um, pest resistant or disease resistant. So when you want to grow something that is sustainable and regenerative for your land and for your soil, this is really the truest, most holistic or natural or organic way to do it. Um, but again, not everyone has two to three years to do this process. So I am going to be doing both. And that way every year I'm harvesting garlic, but every year I'm putting hundreds of more into the ground. And I'm hoping that by year two or year three, there will be enough consistent turnover that every year bubbles will be planted and every year heads of garlic will grow. And every year it'll just be a different stage. And I won't have to purchase um, seed garlic from, from a reputable farm. 
So that is my garlic story. Basically with these, what I will do is I will probably um, just do rows in a bed and I'm just gonna sprinkle them in, cover them and let them be. Um, this again would be done in the late fall like you would your standard garlic cloves. Um, and um, garlic is a heavy feeder so you want to make sure that you amend it properly and you also want to make sure that you cover it with straw just to give it that extra protection. Um, so I harvested my garlic, I harvested like I said a little bit late so I don't have that papery skin but with a hard neck it's not not as bad um, especially for storage. Um, so I've got them curing, I'll show you where I'm curing them. Um, and. You can store your hard neck just like this once it's done being cured, or you can trim it off and clean it all up. Um, I typically don't. I just keep it on a long stem and just hang it as is and then grab what I need. Um, but this is my garlic. Um, I've counted out 72 heads of garlic um, that I pulled out of the beds, minus the ones that went to seed, and I think I let three or four go to seed. Plus I also took some out um, throughout the summertime to use in our um, meals. So I would say probably between 75 to 80 cloves were harvested out of 100 that were planted. And I would assume that then the difference is probably what didn't grow. So um, that is that is my garlic growing experience. Um, this is my first year growing um, this amount of garlic and I'm really excited about it um, and like I said this last year I just got from a local uh, a local gardener but this year I will be ordering from um, John Boy Farms just so that I can get a better um, higher quality garlic I will be paying the price for it but I do want to eventually have um, um, garlic that I can that I can sell um, locally so I do want to be working with a with a better quality hard nut garlic plus I would like to try out a few different flavors so um, if you have any um, specialty flavors that you like if there's a hard neck variety that you like um, let me know um, love to hear your thoughts if you've grown garlic before and you've got any tips or tricks feel free to share those as well and um, I'll show you my curing station and all of my garlic one thing I did want to mention, um, when I was growing in this bed, I planted sunflowers pretty much right amongst my garlic, um, and I barely did any weeding. Um, I don't know if that may have been the issue for me having um, smaller bulbs, but uh, with the sunflowers, I wanted to put something here that kind of protected um, the garlic, and I knew that they would be um, the garlic would be coming out at a certain time when the sunflowers would really go into bloom, so they're not competing with each other. Um, and they, they seem to do really, really nicely together. So that's what that looked like. So these are all the bubble bub bubbles. It's spelled B U B I L S, kind of like pupils, bub bills. Um, and if you sacrifice a few garlic plants and you want to try this method, um, you will have hundreds of quote unquote garlic seed to start with. Um, and by year two, um, even though the garlic heads would be small, by year two going from bubbles, um, it's still edible. So you could harvest um, in year two, but by year three, they should be big enough that you could take cloves from these and use them as seed garlic. Um, so typically that is like your truest form of seed. 
So right here is where I am curing all of our garlic. This is the mattress bottom to our kids' crib that they are no longer using. Um, and it's from Ikea and it's screened. So it will let air through um, and it will let moisture through, but it doesn't, it, it, it's a screen, it's a giant screen. Um, but it was great for repurposing to use as a place to cure garlic. So there you can see all the garlic. So I don't know entirely how to cure garlic. Um, when you do cure garlic, you want your stems to still be green. Um, so that way it would still have the outer sheath. Um, but I let my stems die just because I just got busy. So because, because I let my stems dry, you can see that there is no papery sheath protecting the garlic, which from my ex personal experience working with it, um, it stores fine um, and we go through enough garlic. Um, but I am definitely gonna try and do this. Um, try and get the full sheath on it next year. Um, I think it's better if you were to want to sell your garlic um, it just offers that layer of protection and, and, and it keeps your cloves from drying out or from bugs or anything getting in. Um, but sometimes you just get busy and you know what, it's, it stores just fine. So typically what I will do is I just take ours and I just bundle them and I just hang them up in a dry space in our house, in a dry cool space in our house um, to stay and you know we'll go through two three cloves most days um, so a few tips clip your scapes early so that um, it doesn't take energy away from your cloves your heads of garlic growing um, if you want to experiment with bells um, let a few go to seed but just know that you will have very kind of useless garlic um, and this is this is this information is only specifically for hardneck um, up here in Canada um, there are people that can grow soft neck most people don't mess with it just because it's very hard for us to grow it's not a variety we can grow nice thing with hardneck we put it in the fall and in the spring summer fall we work on harvesting it in the late spring to early summer. We start working harvesting our scapes, and in the late summer to early fall, we start harvesting our garlic. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on growing garlic, and um, I will keep you updated on our babils. <laughs>